it's time to set the BG indicator. The model number is BGI. You can see it sitting in front of you and I will walk you through the steps of doing that. We will set the initial settings. The first thing you notice is that the indicator is on. You can see the display is on. Step one is to turn off the power. Upper left hand corner is the power button. Now the power is gone. Next, hold down the mode button, which is the bottom center button. While you're holding that down, push the power button. You'll see the power come back on. Let go of the mode button. You're now in the configuration menu. Once in the menu, the mode button changes to the advance button. As we push the advance button, we will see the display change and we're watching that change to see one that says INIT. INIT is the initial settings for the unit of measure. Once we have the unit of measure, the INIT showing, we push the, end, the power button which in the configuration setting changes into a enter button. So you push the enter button once. As we watch the screen, this is going to be hard for you to see, you can probably see something flashing there. We are now displaying the units of measure. The units of measure we have choices of are KGMM, OZIN, and NCM. And the NCM is what you want, it stands for Newton centimeters. Once that's flashing, you push the enter button. Now we've got another set of stuff flashing on the top of the display and we're going to push the mode button one time. That will advance us and once we've advanced once, we push the enter button. The display changes to done. We push the enter button again the display goes to all zeros and then we can power the meter down by pushing it one more time. We're now at a point to take the next step. Now it's time to enable the set point feature of the meter. This will allow the meter to turn off the rotation when the specific uh, value is met. And this is a critical part of this machine where the standard says you must not exceed X number of Newton meters of torque and this machine shuts it down at the right point so that you do not exceed that thus assuring and proving that you've got a properly assembled piece that you can test. To set the set point to turn it on we again hold down the mode button and then push the power button and then take our finger off the mode button. The, we go through the mode, advance again one step at a time until we see the word out. This is for output other than RS-232. Once we have the out, we push the enter button once and we're inside the output. We have two choices, B, C, D, E, and B, C, D, D. Push the advance button until you see B, C, D, D. Then push the enter button. We are now inside the area that we can turn on the set point and we will see either S, P, D, or S, P, E. Push the advance button until you see S, P, E and then push the enter button. Now we're in an area where there's a number of choices. You want to push the enter button until you see ETD. Once that shows, push the enter button. You'll get the word done. Push the enter button again. It will take you back to all zeros. Push it one more time. It'll turn the meter off. Now that we have the initial settings taken care of, we shouldn't have to go into the configuration menu again. The next thing we have to do is set the set points. 
The set points are what are used to stop the rotation or stop the assembly or stop the machine, however you want to work, word it. When the machine reaches a specific torque, it will turn off the motor. The standard identifies two set points. One of them is 0.1 newton meter. The other is 0.12 newton meter. Depending on which test you're running, you have to verify which maximum torque you need to watch out for. And that's what you'll have to set the set points for. When we're setting the set points on the meter, the meter does not give us an option of newton meters, so we've already set it to newton centimeters, which means that you have to convert the 0.1 newton meter, which converts to 10 newton centimeters, and the 0.12 newton meter, which converts to 12 newton centimeters. So let's set this unit up. Again, we're going to start by pushing the power to turn it on. Once it's on, it's cleared to zero, the mode button, or advance, push it once, push it twice. The second time you'll see SP. Once SP shows, push enter. After pushing enter, you will see a number. That number is the current setting of the set point of the first set point. There are two buttons, the upper center and the upper right, which have arrows underneath them. The upper center is used for up, it has an up arrow. The upper right is used for down and has a down arrow. By pushing the buttons, you will change the number, either of course up or down. Now it's setting at zero right now. If you hold the button down, the numbers change rapidly and if you, if you touch the button, it changes by increments of 0 0.05. So let's just get this to 10. Actually, I'm going to set it to uh, 12. There we go. Now it's set at 12. Once it's set at 12, we touch the mode button again. And now we're watching for the little numbers on top and we want it to say CCW. Once we have that we push enter and we get to the second set point. This one here is for the most case not going to be used so we will just set it and I'm going to set it to 10 And it's almost there. All right, once it's set to 10, and then we'll push the mode button once, and it will change to CW. And then we'll push enter. Basically what we did with that second setting is just set the setting into a place that we're not going to use it. Once we push enter, we see the word done. We push enter again, and we're back to the main screen. We'll push power one more time to turn the meter off. The set points are now set.